people, I am Bharat Acharya. Welcome to our new course of C Programming. So in today's lecture, we are going to start writing our programs. I am going to make you generate your first output. What? Hello world? No, 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 not something so basic. Of course, we will start with hello world, but in the same lecture today, I will get you to the point where you can generate an output like this. Yes, I am not kidding. This is going to be your output screen for today's lecture. In fact, at the end of the lecture, I am going to give you a small challenge, all of you all. I'll ask you to generate a particular kind of output, which if you do, you send me. If I really like it, you will be on my social media for the whole day. Anyway, that's for later. First of all, what are we doing today? I'm going to set up your VS Code for you. VS Code is the platform in which we do all our coding. It's a beautiful platform, but if you download it and use it just the way it is, it doesn't seem that beautiful. In fact, many students get intimidated by all that's going on on the screen. So I'm going to sit with you and show you first of all how to declutter your output, remove all the unnecessary windows, get your output running on a terminal, download some very good extensions for you which will make your execution of programs very simple. VS Code, when you're working on this, running programs is a breeze. It's a very simple experience and it should be like that for you. I'll set it up for you like that so that you can just press a single button, run your programs, debug your programs, whatever you want to do. I'll show you how to get your outputs on the terminal, which is necessary because only on the terminal you can accept user inputs and generate outputs the way you're supposed to generate in the exam. Further, the first time you run program on the terminal, something very funny happens. You get a lot of clutter on your screen uh, before your output, after your output, even your prompt looks very funny. That's how it is set up by default. So what, do we have to live with that? No way. It's so easy to get such beautiful outputs. Just a few clicks here and there, which I'll show you how to do. So that henceforth, all that garbage is history for you. Every program generates the output exactly what you want it to show, including the prompt. I'll show you how to set up your prompt, okay? Of course, everything I'm gonna tell you will be for a Mac as well as for a Windows interface, whichever one you use. Uh, lastly, once we have this whole platform set up, we'll generate our first output, hello world. Of course, we'll start with that. Then as we do that, since we are learning printf, I'll show you how to master printf. There are some escape sequences, some tricks that we use, which are a part of C language, by which you can get these kind of beautiful outputs. Why do I stress so much on getting the output right? A, no matter what work you've done inside your program, if your output screen doesn't look good, first of all, it's just sort of appealing. You're making an app, it won't be the best app. It, it's just the, the UI UX is given so much importance today. So that's the first thing you should be focusing on. Uh, secondly, uh, tomorrow, as in later on in the course, when we generate all these values dynamically, all the names will come from a table, all the ages will come from a table. In fact, all of this at the end of the subject will become an array of structures and you'll get all that information dynamically from there and displayed and sorted by a name or sorted by age or sorted by number. You would be at that time only interested in the core programming, how to get the information. How to display is something you've already learned. You know how to get your display right in the very beginning. So that as we go ahead, you're only focused on the real code. All right. So that's the goal of today's lecture. The entire lecture, in fact, the whole course is available on my website, bharatacharyaeducation.com. This is the third video that we uploaded. We are uploading videos on a rapid pace. A lot more videos are being shot, but the editing is, is what is taking so long because you want the experience to be the best for you. Uh, but they're going on getting uploaded. Don't wait for all the videos to come because by that time it will become big mountain. Hello, this is what you've been doing. You've been dodging programming right from the beginning. Don't do it anymore. Time for procrastination is over. This, this is the time for action. Start learning now. The link for my website, bharatacharyaeducation.com is given down below. Click on the link, register yourself as a user, select the C programming course, subscribe and start learning. We are going ahead with the program. Wish you all the best. Do it.